everybody welcome to my channel um so going through got tons of stuff i have another video for you but this time it's a little higher end natasha denona palettes um i know this one has come out a little bit ago i'm sorry at least it's like maybe the same year hopefully the same year maybe it's not maybe it was just the end of last year hmm but it's new it's the um newer metropolis Met metropolis palette here raw real and then this did come out in february for um the beginning of february for um um, I guess kind of like Valentine's Day. I did use it to do a lot of looks. So let's talk about them. I'll list the prices and where you can get them below. I happen to get, I think I mostly get these and Beautylish, so I can split up the payments, I think. But this one I was a little cheaper because I like her, I like her smaller palettes. Like it feels more affordable than the bigger 200 and whatever ones. Like I don't need that much, but like thank you for offering it to me. So let's start with the older one first. So the older one, slightly older, is the Metropolis palette, and it's got this really, really awesome green-blue packaging, and I do like the soft packaging as opposed to the hard packaging. I don't know. I just think it's, I just like it better. So we open it, and of course, it's got the little insert that has all the names, and it does not come out unless you want to rip it out. I don't rip mine out. So this one has a lot of brody colors, I would say. Let's see, let's lift it so you can see. They're really darks, greens. Um, I mean, you can see. You can see. I actually didn't think I was going to like this palette as much as I do. Because I really do. The mattes are blendable. There's not actually that many. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight mattes. Um... Yeah, so there's only eight mattes, and the rest are shimmers. I love this green right here, which is royal. So that green is my favorite shade of green, and it looks so emerald, dark emerald deep on your eyes. It just looks beautiful. I probably won't swatch everything, but it's got a lot of golds and greens and just more my colors. This color right here. Um, the matte ripe is a wonderful jumping point for me because I love the oranges. And then from there, I can just add anything on it and it'll look good. Um, you know, I'm not really brown. I'm brown, again, as I told you in the last video. But I uh, try not to gravitate too much towards browns. Um, warm eyes are nice, but it's hard for me to just grab a brown as opposed to grabbing like a deep color or bright color. But I have to say that I've been surprised by this palette, and every time I wear it, I feel really glam. I feel really like, you know, wintery, broody, like, bomb. Because there's 28. Oh, just, should I do all 28? Okay, I'll do 20. You convinced me. I'll do all 28. Um, okay, I got arm. I got arm space. Um, let's just go ahead and we'll swatch them. Why not? That way you can see them. I'm sure you've seen them swatch, but maybe my skin tone may be a little different. I don't know. I always think things look really different in the pan than when they do on my, on my, on me. Um, I mean, it's so weird, like, I'm dark places, but I'm light places. You can feel like this never tans. Oh, no, it is. But my face and my forehead get hella dark during the summer, but it is winter. I haven't had any sun. I am not a house plant. I am an outside, give me sunshine all day kind of plant. I need it. So... It's really weird to me that I'm just like, that's kind of light, awkward, like right now. But of course, they'll all transfer differently with brushes. So let's go into them. Uh, the first one is Rust. I had to read that back. Let's start higher up. Really coppery tone. Then we have Troop, Ooh, which is kind of like a mustardy green. I'm trying to get, get these close. Or Orium. Orium is a shimmer as well. And it's kind of like a base. These are some of my favorite shimmers when there's like a base tony of like brown, but then it has purple and green shimmer. So it gives it completely different dimension. Okay. I have one more finger. Then we have shield right underneath it which is like 
it's hard to describe because it's also kind of, it's like the mustardy green got shimmer. The ripe is one of the favorite oranges. It should be right here on my flammer. Let's do that again. Very soft, very blendable. Then the next one is Stain, which is kind of another orange, but it's a brighter orange, which is so funny because in the pan, it looks darker. And then when you put it on, it's brighter. Like it's one of those weird colors that does that. Interesting. Then we have in that row, Mace, which is a really pretty shimmery, like orange but not too in your face. Don't worry, I'll get closer. Next row, we have Rope, Fuse, and Lethal. So Rope, Fuse, and Lethal. So, oh, I did backwards. Fuse is right here. Lethal is this kind of limey green, and Rope is just a very neutral, um, matte shade. You can't even really see it on my skin at all. And then we've got four more on that row. Penny, Chrism, Aquaeus, and Queen. Okay. Bam. Bam. Oh, that blue though. See how nice they're going on? Next row, Blaze, Noble, Imperia and Royal, 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 Royal's where it's at. So we're here, lots of orangey tones and brown tones in this palette with a pop of wonderfulness. And we have Crest, Enigma, and Pure. Let's see, Quest, yeah, let's see, Enigma. Look at that blue, it's gorge and pure, which is like a burnt orange, which, you know me, I love a burnt orange. Then we have the following row, Azoic, Jubilee, and Symbol. So, deep, kind of cool town brown, ugh, another beautiful green. And this other blue-black nonsense. That's like wonderful. I think this one leans more towards blue. This one leans more towards green. Then we've got four more colors. I know it's a lot. Rhizome, Claret, uh, Helena, and Antique. Okay, where are we? Why can't I see? This one is also, this is a mustardy kind of yellow. It's kind of real light in my skin. Then we've, oh, that one's real pretty. That was, I keep trying to get backwards, Claret. These, these are just so pretty. The shimmers are bomb. Even that matte right there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look how like colorful I am. My husband's like, you should get like a swatch tattoo. And I was like, yeah, but nothing that I can tattoo on myself will ever look as good as just pure colorful swatches. And I can change them up all the time. <laughs> I mean, can, can you blame me? Let's get closer. So here was the first row-ish. In the second row, we get into the third and more like and have those deeper colors. And then the last row, look at those last rows. That, that's what gets me. Amazing. You can do so many looks with these. It's just incredible. It really is. So I really do really love this palette. And I was I went to TJ Maxx and I was with my friend. And she tells me she wears a Chanel foundation. And I was like, oh, girl, you fancy. And another lady was there, and she laughed at me. And it's so funny because we started talking makeup like crazy. And my friend is, um, the English is not her first language. So she's like, wait, 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 guys. Are y'all talking English? Because we're talking about Derby Star. We're talking about this and that and that. And I was like, she's like, I want that Pat McGrath. But, like, that's really bougie. And I was like, yeah, but I got one. And I got Natasha Denona, and she's like, so you just a different kind of fancy, but everybody's got their own fancy. And I was like, you right. You right. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, next, so, total win for me. Totally worth it if you got money to splurge on, which those tax refunds are coming. Oh, I'm so bad. I'm so bad. My friend asked me, she's like, why don't you, I was like, I spend money on myself clearly all the time. But she's like, why don't you use it for, like, your tax refund? Use it for something you really, like, 
one. And I was like, okay, but I'm, I'm more of like a saving kind of person. Like, I spend a lot on makeup, but I also save a lot or try to save as much as I can and like not cut corners, but like eating at home and you know, stuff like that. So I'm very money conscious. Like, it doesn't seem like it, but I totally am. Okay, so the Natasha Denona Love Palette is next. This does have the hard case. And I believe for Valentine's no President's Day, like a lot of the palettes were on sale, which I was tempted to buy the Tropic palette again. But, but full price, it's not worth it. Because it is pretty, but I don't know, something was lacking. And then the it was on sale, but only for 80 bucks. But I had seen it, you know, back in the day, like get as low as 70. So I'm waiting for that sucker to get lower. I just am. Like it's not worth it to me as it is right now. But anyway. This palette is so lovely because look at these colors. Now I would say I love the Millennial Pink by Melt, but I feel like this one is worth is worth it. I want to say the Millennial Pink palette has to be somewhere 45 to 60 range, and this one is 65, and this one has better colors, I think. Better, prettier, more workable colors, and they have they give you so much more. Like, and I love Melt Cosmetics. I love it. So this is just bomb. I I don't really do anything for Valentine's Day except clean. We're just like, Mrah. every day should be Valentine's Day now, kind of, really. But this, I mean, so many just pretty looks it is amazing. So let's go ahead and swatch it. Okay, so first it's right here, and you can see it a little better. Like a powdery, pinky, light color. Okay, Lifetime. Then Heartbeat which you can kind of not see because I'm a snake, but it's a really deep, pretty wine. I'll get closer. Then we have Transparent and Trust. Transparent, oh, that's pretty. And trust is right here. Trust, it takes, it's a little bit to work up, but it's really pretty when you go all over. It's like really deep, kind of like purple. Then we have Heart, which is an amazing red. Giving, which is a pinky shimmer with pink, Reflux. So a red heartbeat. See how it's buildable? Then we've got giving. Oh, pink on pink on pink. Uh, pure love, which is like pinky purpley. Amazing nonsense. Commitment and blind. So commitment is a deep, deep, deep purple matte. That is gorge. And then blind is this deep fine silvery shade. It's bomb. Then we have one more row. So Soul, which is a matte pink. And take some build up these mattes right here. I don't know if it's going to make fingers are slightly damp. I'm trying to dry them. Passion, Intense, and Valentine are next. So I'm going to go this way. Passion, which is like a wine color with pink reflex. Then Intense. I should put intense and not on my snake. Okay, there you go. You get a little more of a cool tone pink. And then even cooler tone pink, light, fluffy millennial pink. Ah, it's Valentine. There we go. And the last one is a purple. And it's called Dream. It's a bright lavender purple. Really nice. Like, I'm really excited about the Jeffree Star um, uh, Bloodlust palette. But this one does have a couple of gray purples, and the reds are bomb. Let's get closer. Here they are. It's a light nude. We're getting into the shimmers. That color. Look at that. Then we have some of the other ones right here. Oops. Look how pretty they are. And look at that. You do not chance see that in the pan looking like that when it goes on your skin. Super nice. Like if I had to choose between this one and the Millennial palette. I get this one. I make up of them, but hey, that's just me. But um, I think that this is a really good investment. It's really pretty and it's really good. Um, so the mattes take a little more blending time, but that's okay to me. Um, I don't use primer at all, so that's even better that it can blend so nicely without primer. And the shimmer is just you just I just want to bathe in them. They're amazing. They're beautiful. So both of these palettes are go, are go for me. They're super like I. I really do like these. These are hits. I mean, what is she doing to me? What is she doing to me? Anyway, so I know it was super long, longer than intended, and I'll try to speed up these swatches for you because I feel like I, I did a lot. But we want, 
So my kids wanted to say, do the outro for this. So let me just get them. My kids and, his, and their friend Jet are here and they're going to say thank you for watching. Three. Thank, thank you for watching. watching. Have a good day. Bye. All right, we go with you. Bye. 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 See you later.